One of the things that concerns me with things going in a, a toxically passive way is there are um, certain personality traits that carry across culture. And when we dial down for some of them, and it's millions of people, there are problems. And one of them is resilience. Like people's resilience has gotten shit. Resilience is your capacity to deal with stress, your capacity to thrive in adverse conditions, and your mental toughness, generally speaking, is resilience. A toxically passive, consumeristic, pleasure-seeking, immediate gratification culture, obviously one of the first things that is gonna go down is gonna be resilience. People have asked me whether social media generates narcissistic personality disorder, and I would say probably not, no, but there is a constellation of traits that if you move up and down like a, a mixing board uh, on a sound mixer, people are gonna look and function as though they have narcissistic personality disorder. Low levels of resilience, low impulse control, a lack of ability to enforce your will on the world or on yourself. Um, these are highly narcissistic and psychopathic traits. When it's affecting a whole culture of people and we move in a certain direction, that's when it becomes dangerous. I hope I don't sound like a middle-aged curmudgeon when I keep going on about boundaries and respect. I really hope I'm not turning into my grandfather. It's that, from my point of view, boundaries protect us from each other on a daily basis. Being well-mannered protects you from me and me from you. I might not be in a very good mood, but manners and good boundaries let me know that just because I'm not feeling good doesn't mean I don't have respect for you. I'm just in a low state right now. Does that make sense? That's why I keep coming back to these, uh, these things. I don't consider myself a traditional conservative. However, sometimes when I'm talking, I'm thinking, ah, I kind of sound like one a little bit accidentally. I just think we live in a simp society. It's a simp culture. Women are the best thing in the world. Being young is the best thing in the world. Being beautiful is the best thing in the world. It didn't always look like this. Sometimes we had different cultural values. Wisdom was the greatest thing. Being a philosopher was the greatest thing. Being, or even like in a warrior culture, being the number one gladiator would have been the best thing. Now it's youth and beauty and sex and instant gratification. I do sound like a middle-aged curmudgeon, don't I? I really fucking do. I'm turning into my grandfather. I referenced Patrice O'Neill before. I highly recommend you guys look him up. All of his interviews are on, um, are on YouTube. Uh, there's a, a documentary about him, a fan made one. It's well worth watching. He said of women, when they're, he called it the sickness. He said, when they have the sickness like this, it's not their fault. It's our fault. We make them sick. Simps make them sick. And every fucking man has simped at some point. We all simp. We all simp. Because it's powerful. If you're a heroin addict, if you were sat there as a heroin addict and you were jonesing for heroin and you wanted to talk to me about philosophy and I just had a little vial of heroin and I was just talking to you and we was going to talk about economics. You'd be talking to me, you'd be like, yeah, economics, oh yeah. I'm going to economics the shit out of that fucking hero. You can't. Like, you're, you're, ga you're thirsty, you're ga you want, I've got it right here. And I'm just, yeah. So anyway, what do you think about economics? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll be on Instagram with my vial like, oh, oh, you can see my vial. No, stop. Why are you looking at it, you pervert? Why are you looking, you know, it's, it's, it's a stupid, but it, it, it infantilizes them. Then they act like dumb teenagers and they don't grow out of that dumb teenage attention seeking uh, mindset. So I think it's, it is a cultural problem. And uh, somebody was asking me about this before, like men also fall into it. You have good looking guys who are on social media or on Instagram who are showing themselves naked, being the beautiful body that then men and women are supposed to pursue it's it's uh it, it's it's always been there i'm sure like in king arthur's times there was fucking simps and uh, you know it's um if you really crave something you're going to give parts of yourself away in order to get it it's an unfortunate thing because it keeps people sick it keeps everybody in the environment sick and one of the things i would say by the way guys and I, every time i finish a talk i'm like fuck you need to say this there needs to be a concept of brotherhood the way women have sisterhood. Women back each other up so much fucking more than men do. We just leave each other in the field.